I am Victoria Archer and this is the importance of multicultural and transnational literature. Multicultural and transnational literature all derive from different backgrounds, with different trans traditions, with people who look different, all coming together for the same purpose, to tell a story. Most of what you see in multicultural literature and transnational literature is an author who is telling a story. Typically, it is closely related to their life experiences, or it could be something similar to what they have experienced. Multicultural and transnational literature have reshaped the world in their own ways. Different authors have written about important times in the United States history. Events such as civil rights movements, gay rights, and women's rights movements have brought a revolution to literature. These literary works, such as poems, novels, plays, and stories, fill the library shelves across the United States. This is, this is in turn, opens up a new view to those who are not aware. This gives people a voice who so desperately need it. One theme that was demonstrated in early multicultural literature is culture. Another theme that was demonstrated is traditions. Also, we see a multitude of literature from the civil rights era, portraying what it was like to be different in a popular America. I took from Banks' article, Diversity, Group Identity, and Citizenship Education in a Global Age, that different societies are faced with trouble when bringing their cultures and ideas into their communities. In what are Native American literatures, I learned that there are an estimated of 500 distinct Native American nations speaking an estimated of 300 different languages that originate from eight different language families. We are not all the same, and that is what makes us unique. We should all strive to learn about more than just our culture or in our literature. Learning about different cultures can create equality for all. A theme that I observed that identity played a large part in most of the literature was assigned. In The Bluest Eye, Toni Morrison tells of a young girl who prayed for blue eyes. She believed that if she had blue eyes, she'd be seen as beautiful. The Bluest Eye shows that the depiction of how white beauty has changed the lives of black girls and women across the country. Another theme that was universal was marginalization. Larry Kramer was an American playwright and screenwriter as well as being a gay rights activist. Kramer poured so much of his actual life into his writings. In the normal heart, Ned, who seemed to be loosely based on Kramer, became an AIDS activist. By getting involved, Kramer was able to get the information out there and change writing in the the marginalization of gay rights in a different light. Margaret Atwood was a Canadian poet and author who was also a feminist. Atwood completed, contemplated human behavior, celebrated the natural world, and was against materialism. She fought for women's rights, and a lot of her literature that she wrote was based on around gender equality. In The Handmaid's Tale, Atwood shows how women were sex slaves, were not equal, and were oppressed. One of the main types of intercultural conflict that are presented in these works is equality. In any way that you look at it, each author spoke on fitting in, feeling welcome, and being part of something, or freeing the oppression. Kramer spoke out as a gay activist, as an activist for gay rights, and as an AIDS activist. Atwood spoke out for women and their rights. These works suggest that being open and accepting other cultures, traditions, and beliefs can ultimately resolve intercultural conflict by making everyone feel included and important. Thank you.